Hey, your bros and my folks, what the hell's going down? It's only back here today with some God of War. Now, I'm changing it up a little bit, as you can see. Uh, with the new God of War coming out, I did decide to go ahead and start playing through all of them again. It's been years since I've played any of them. Uh, actually, I've only ever beat one and two. I never played any of the other ones, so uh, I'm going to be playing all of them and making a video for all of the cutscenes. I'm going to put them all together and make a video for that. Now, I know other people are doing that, but I figured maybe you guys might feel like seeing it for my channel, so what the heck. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a video for each boss fight. So, as you can see behind me here, uh, I have just beat the game and gotten the chains of Athena and uh, you can see I'm at Mount Olympus at my little throne room uh, and I've got the remains for the first boss which is the Hydra behind me it's one of the Hydra heads so I'll be making a video on that and then I'll be making a video for Pandora's uh, guardian here this Minotaur and then Ares himself which is of course the final boss fight for God of War so Anyway, dudes, keep an eye out for those. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to playing through the God of War games because I love them. So, without any further ado, here is my video with all of the cutscenes from God of War put together so you guys can kind of understand the story a bit better if you're not uh, already familiar with the God of War series. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. But it had not always been this way. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. Oh, beast! I will send you back to the depths of Hades! Slaughtered like animals, the victims lay before him, a reminder of his own past, a past he could never escape. <laughs> his only solace was the sea, endlessly sailing from one harbor to the next in service to the gods of Olympus. All his hopes rested with them. For no matter how much wine he consumed, or how many women he took to his bed, nothing on earth could rid him of the horrors that plagued his mind. <laughs> Athena! Ten years, Athena. I have faithfully served the gods for ten years. When will you relieve me of these nightmares? We request one final task of you, Kratos. Your greatest challenge awaits in Athens, where even now my brother Ares lays siege as we speak. Athens is on the verge of destruction. It is the will of Ares, my great city fall. Zeus has forbidden the gods from waging war on each other. That is why it must be you, Kratos. Only a mortal trained by a god has a chance at defeating Ares. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, then the visions, they will end? Complete this final task, and the past that consumes you will be forgiven. 
Have faith, Kratos. The gods do not forget those who come to their aid. Leaving the rotting carcass of the Hydra behind, Kratos set sail once more. His greatest challenge and freedom from his growing madness lay before him in the ancient city of Athens. And with that act, Kratos set in motion the events that would lead to his downfall. Kratos, as Athena herself has foretold. But you are late, perhaps too late to save Athens. Or is it Athens you have come to save? No, I, I can't! We must not stop! And when the Oracle no, looked into his soul, she saw a beast as well as a man. Once a captain in the Spartan army, Kratos had begun his command with only 50 soldiers. But soon his numbers grew to the thousands. His tactics were brutal, but effective. Drunk with power, he was feared by all, except one. His wife was the only one to brave his fury. How much is enough, Kratos? When will it end? When the glory of Sparta is known throughout the world. The glory of Sparta. You did this for yourself. His desire for conquest knew no bounds, but that which he desired would ultimately consume him. By the gods, why would Athena send one such as you? Stay out of my head! Choose your enemies wisely, Kratos. Your brute strength alone will not be enough to destroy Ares. Only one item in the world will allow you to defeat a god. Pandora's box which lies far beyond the walls of Athens, hidden by the gods across the desert to the east. But be warned, Kratos. Many have gone in search of Pandora's box. None have returned. Kratos, the journey forward is perilous, but one you must complete if you are to have any hope of saving Athens. The Oracle spoke of Pandora's box. Can it be real? The box exists. It is the most powerful weapon a mortal can wield. And with such a weapon, I could defeat Ares. With the box, many things become possible. And so it is hidden well, far across the desert of lost souls. There is safe passage through the deadly sands. But only those who hear and follow the siren's song will discover it. You must find the sirens, Kratos. Only they can guide you to Kronos, the Titan. A Titan lives? Kronos is the last. Zeus has commanded him to wander the desert endlessly, the Temple of Pandora chained to his back, until the swirling sands rip the very flesh from his bones. Stay true to the song of the siren, Kratos. Your journey begins here. Pray it leads you back to Athens with Pandora's box. The wrecked bodies of those who had gone in search of Pandora's box lay before him, and at once Kratos knew who was responsible. For this was not the first time he'd seen the ruined Ares and his minions had left in their wake. Kratos had experienced it firsthand years before. The youngest and boldest captain in the Spartan army, Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle, until this day. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands, and descended on the Spartans without mercy. The battle lasted near hours. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career. 
and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours! That desperate call for aid would come to haunt Kratos for all his days. By the gods, what have I become? Kratos had been in service to the gods long enough to know the Harpy had been sent as a warning, a reminder from his former master of the decision that had cost Kratos everything. Had it been that long since he'd almost met his end at the hands of the barbarians? That long since he'd traded everything to save himself? Ares! The sky split apart and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god. Destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. As for Kratos, no mere sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the god of war. The blades of chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. Wretched beast! I know who it is you serve! Return to your master! Tell the god of war I am his no longer. Tell him he is not safe while I walk the earth. I will find Pandora's box. And I will use it to see him tremble and fall before me. The path before Kratos was clear, but still, the memories came rushing back, as familiar and permanent as the blades chained to his wrists. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast, his humanity robbed and replaced only with the will to murder. No one was safe. Entire armies fell before Kratos and the soldiers who followed him on his unending path of conquest, all in the name of his master. Those who offered resistance of any kind were dealt with quickly. They've built this temple to offer prayers to Athena! This entire village stands as an affront to Lord Ares! Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Emboldened by the god of war, Kratos' army was ruthless, feared throughout the world for their brutality. All that mattered was conquest in the name of Kratos, their great leader, who had become near invincible. He feared nothing. But there was something about this temple, something forbidden. All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold. Never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. 
His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die. In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. He had but one calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. You will die for what you did that night. After a thousand years, Pandora's box was at last freed of its confines. Kratos had found the means to destroy the god of war. Far away in Athens, Ares knew Kratos had succeeded in his quest. So, little Spartan, you've recovered Zeus's precious box. But you will not live long enough to see it opened. I will see to that. Goodbye, Spartan. You will rot in the depths of Hades for all eternity. As the life began to leave Kratos, his thoughts returned to that fateful night. Even in death. The memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the God of War. My wife, my child, how they were left in Sparta. You are becoming all I'd hoped you'd be, Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. In the end, in death, he had failed. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos' life faded, and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. And Kratos fell into the underworld, the river Styx beckoning below, the currents strong enough to carry even the strongest mortal to his eternal resting place. But Kratos had no intention of resting yet. He intended to live, to return to Earth and complete his quest. Let go, fool! You won't drag me down to that cursed river! There is a task left for me above. I will see it completed. You again? Go! Kratos had traversed the desert of lost souls, bested the deadly traps of Pandora's temple, and escaped Hades itself. There was but one task left. Zeus! Do you see now what your son can do? You cast your favor on Athena, but her city lies in ruins before me. And now, 
even Pandora's box is mine! Would you have me use it against Olympus itself? Kratos... returned even from the Underworld. Is this the best you can do, father? You send a broken mortal to defeat me, the god of war? After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally opened. The power of the gods unleashed. Still just a mortal. Every bit as weak as the day you begged me to save your life. I am not the same man you found that day. The monster you've created has returned to kill you. You have no idea what a true monster is, Kratos. It was I who saved you, in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten, Ares. I remember how you saved me. That night... I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. Kratos had done me impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. The city had been saved and would thrive again. The same could not be said for Kratos, for as he sought to rebuild his soul with the help of the gods, the truth was revealed to him. Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, the gods are indebted to you. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are, but we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. In the end, knowing the visions of his past would never leave him, Kratos made his way to the bluffs overlooking the Aegean Sea. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. The gods had other plans. Born aloft like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. You will not die this day, Kratos. The gods cannot allow one who has performed such service to perish by his own hand. Ares' tactics were brutal. His path of destruction had to be stopped. But now there is an empty throne in Olympus, and a new god of war is needed. 
take these stairs, Kratos. They lead to your ultimate reward. And from that point forward, throughout the rest of time, whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war.